Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you what is in my makeup travel bag. So if you want to see what made the final cut, then just keep watching. So as you can see, I'm showing you my messy, messy makeup room. Is it? I'm just sitting in front of the window because I'm not filming with my big camera. I just wanted to do this casually. But anyways, as I've mentioned in literally every single video, I'm going on vacation. <laughs> and I think I'm so excited about it because I have just finished up the school year from HE Double Hockey Sticks. Like, this vacation is exactly what I needed. But I'm coming on here to tell you why I chose what I chose for makeup because normally I am a serial overpacker and even with makeup like I don't care I'll bring five palettes for a week long trip that makes sense right so this time I really wanted to challenge myself to pack as minimally as possible my goal for myself was to fit everything in my Esam makeup bag which I will link down below but you'll take a closer look it actually fits quite a lot and the reason I wanted to pack more minimally than I normally would is because I'm trying to force myself to just chill and not worry about like my makeup I normally don't care about how I look for vacation but part of the fun of vacation for me as a makeup lover is having excuses in different places to get all glammed up for that's part of what I enjoy about vacation this time you know Jose and I are going to Florida it's gonna be hot and humid so I just don't see myself wanting to get glammed up I don't want to waste time on makeup now that it is my job so I just want to pack minimally what I need to just look a little bit nice for dinner and I think I did a good job of that guys. I'm not even packing false lashes. I don't even know who I am but anyways just keep in mind that normally when I travel it's not like this. I definitely travel more glam <laughs> most of the time and this is still actually <laughs> a lot of makeup because I can't help myself but for me this is really good so let's take a closer look. Welcome to my carpets. I am sitting on the floor in front of my window but I'm gonna show you what is in my makeup travel bag. So this time I challenged myself to only use this Issa makeup bag which is incredible by the way. It's so ouch. It's compact. It holds so much makeup. It has this little handle here that you can put on top of something, I don't know. And let's unzip it. Okay. So here is what we have. Yeah, I packed a lot of makeup in here. So I don't know what order to do this in. <laughs> I guess we will start over on this side. Maybe I should go in order of application. Let's do that. But first, let me show you how the bag works. This is not sponsored or anything, by the way. I just think it's amazing for travel. <laughs> so if you travel frequently, I love this. So on this side, you have little pockets to hold, you know, lip liners, eyebrow pencils. That's what I have in here. And there's also compartments right here and here. You can see my hand is in there. Like I have a liquid lipstick in here. I have all my brushes. It's quite spacious. It pulls out pretty well and you still have more slots right here for things not to roll away and then you have this little clear top right here which is really great because it's very easy to clean and you can see everything and then you unzip it and this part it's just kind of like a big well to fit as many makeup products as you can in here so I think I'm gonna go in the order of application starting off with my tools so I have my refer eyelash curler I actually don't use eyelash curlers that often I don't know why this looks so dirty ew I actually don't use eyelash curlers too often because I'm a big false lash wearer but I'm not bringing false lashes with me on this trip so I definitely wanted an eyelash curler this one is awesome I of course have my beauty blender a must-have and let's talk brushes so as you can see I was able to squeeze them away in this tiny area and hopefully these are all of the brushes that I'm going to need. I brought my Esam X57 because I brought a powder foundation and I cannot go without applying my powder foundation without this brush. And this is from a Sonia G set that came out over the winter time. I will link it down below. I believe it's called the Kiyaki set, uh, but they are very short handles 
which is why I decided to bring this set with me because it won't take up too much space. I told you all I would use this for travel and I am. This actually belongs to my mom, but I totally stole these from her. So we have these three eye brushes right here. We have a mini blender, a brush to pat color on, and this one to also blend. And then we also have two face brushes. So we have a base brush, which is really great. I sometimes use it for cream products, but you can also use it to buff in products. And I might actually use it for highlighter. And then this brush, I love the classic face. You can use this for bronzer, blush, and highlight. It's so versatile. So from that set, what I felt like was missing were these three items. So I wanted a bit of a bigger blending brush so I brought my BK Beauty 202. I also wanted something to set my under eyes or could also work as a blush brush so I have my Wayne Goss number two brush and then I also wanted a true highlight brush to keep the shimmers on one brush so this is the Kaleidos H2 brush. I like this one because it's nice and short. So those are all of the brushes that I'm bringing. Really hoping I don't need more. <laughs> So we will see and let's start off with primers So the first primer that I have this is actually just a moisturizer and I actually might move to my skincare and like toiletries bag But for now I have it in here. This is the Tasha the dewy skin cream This is what's going to hydrate my skin this trip Back here, see I was able to fit this big sunscreen which takes up a lot of room. But I of course, especially since we're gonna be in Florida, need to have my sunscreen. So I have the Daily Deflector Mineral Sunscreen SPF 40 from Kate Somerville. I also have, this is gonna be used as my makeup primer, the ColourPop Face Milk. I just love this for, again, another layer of hydration. While we're here, this is gonna finish off the makeup, but I did wanna talk about it because this also is taking up a lot of space, but it's a travel size of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I love this and I feel like it's gonna be perfect for Florida because this really is such a long wearing setting spray, so I had to add that in. Moving on to foundation products. So I have these little travel sizes of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream and honestly these are hitting the expiration date. So not only would these not take up too much space but I can also try and finish them up this trip. It gives a nice medium coverage, nothing too heavy but nothing too lightweight. It does have SPF which is going to be perfect as well. So this is perfect for Florida and this is actually believe it or not going to be my more glam option. Also if you see the crusties on under my nails that I just noticed. It's because I was swatching eyeshadows. <laughs> I also brought four foundation, so that's gonna be like the heavier coverage. But for every day or just something lightweight to throw on, I wanted to bring a powder foundation. I wanted to compare how I felt about something light like a tinted moisturizer versus a powder foundation in the humidity. So I chose my Makeup Forever powder foundation. I just think this is really great for the kind of temperature in R330. Now for concealers, I picked out two. So the first one, this is kind of my heavier coverage for like a dinner date night, my Dior Forever skin correct but I also chose this because I actually like this kind of all over as a foundation as well. I, I find this formula to be extremely versatile. It can be used for concealer, spot concealing, and foundation. It can give you a light coverage. You can actually build it up as well. So I brought it just because it's so multifunctional. And then also for my no makeup makeup days, I wanted to bring my Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I've been talking about this nonstop. It's perfect for just brightening up the under eyes with no other makeup, no makeup makeup looks. It literally is so great for those lightweight makeup days, which I think I'm going to have a lot of. So I chose this. Now to set the face, I wanted a loose powder because... I'm really fearful that my makeup's gonna break. So I didn't want another pressed powder. So this is really tiny. It's the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I'm not in love with this, but it really was just compact. So it's gonna set my makeup if need be, but I can also use my makeup forever to set as well if I don't want to use this. So that is complete complexion. Now, as far as the bronzer blush highlight. I am really challenging myself and I am only bringing my Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a palette in the shade Stoned Rose. Now, I'm struggling right now because I want to add at least another cheek palette, but I'm not going to. And this palette minimally 
gives you exactly what you need without having to bring anything else. So this guy has three eyeshadows and you can use these wherever you want, but this is just to show you. Two blushes, one bronzer, and one highlight. So I am hoping I can get away with this vacation by only using this for face color and mostly for eyeshadows as well. So we will see truly how versatile this is. Now I know the new one that they just came out with, I've been in love with, and as tempted as I was to bring that one, this one needs some love. So I'm going to see how I can challenge myself and only use this because this right here is saving so much space. I always recommend these for travel, but I never travel. So I am proving to you that I'm using this for travel. But because you guys know I have such fun with eyeshadows and because of me, I wanted to bring something that could add a little bit of color and variety to the eyeshadows since this is really very plain. So I chose the Vizzy Art Shushu palette. And again, this is one of those where I say, you can use these for travel. So here I am using it for travel. It's literally the tiniest thing you've ever seen. And it's really awesome because you still get eight colors here. So I thought these colors would be really fun for the summer. They would bring a nice fun pop to the Charlotte Tilbury. So I mean, these are all of the powder products that are going to work my face really this next week and I'm excited to see how it goes and how I feel because you know what there's no better way to test how you really truly love products than taking them to travel with you. I also brought a mini Too Faced eyeshadow insurance just to work as a base for my eyeshadows. Now moving on to eyebrows, I only brought with me two eyebrow products and you see my other brow product is hiding here. So again, working as minimally as possible. I just brought my Kosas brow pencil because I love this and my Kosas airbrow gel. So I've just been loving these two a lot. They're my current favorites. So I threw them in here. They don't take up too much space. Eyeliners. I brought two eyeliners with me. A black liquid liner and a brown pencil liner. So I am using the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. I just really love the way that this lasts. And I know I have some expensive stuff here, but a lot of the time when I travel, I prefer to bring more affordable options because if something were to happen to my makeup where it would break and I would lose it, I would feel less bad. So I guess that's really what this is. Plus a lot of my liquid liners are drying out. This is one of the only ones that aren't dried out right now and then I also brought the Fenty fly pencil in the shade puppy eyes it's just like a nice kind of metallic brown pencil I like to put this in my waterline or to lightly run along my lash line for some natural definition and since it looks like I'm gonna be wearing a lot of natural makeup I thought that this would be perfect now I am only wearing mascara, no false lashes, so I had to bring one of my favorite mascaras right now, which is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. Definitely one of my all-time favorite mascaras. It's affordable, so this is what's going to give me my false lash effect without actually bringing that. All right, it is time to move on to lips. Now, I'm bringing more lip products than I normally would, and I will explain why, but we're going to start off with lip liners. I have three lip liners with me. So the first one that I'm bringing is a red because I have a couple red lipsticks that I'm playing with. So this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Bossy. I wanted more of a neutral brown lipstick, so I grabbed for the e.l.f. Retro Paradise lip liner. And I wanted something to wear with my more pinky lipsticks. So I have Mauve from Wayne Goss. I love these three formulas very much and I feel like it's a nice broad range here with only bringing three. So those are the three that I chose. I picked out one liquid lipstick just because I love this color. For no makeup makeup days, I actually really like to have a brighter lip. So I've been loving this Maybelline Lover Matte Superstay Ink. So these don't go anywhere. So this is my long wearing lip color. If I'm going to be wearing a mask or I'm going out to dinner and I want something to last, I did want to bring a liquid lipstick with me. I only brought one lip gloss with me, which I thought would go good with all all of the lip liners that I brought, maybe besides the red, but of course it's the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. So it's really tiny and cute and it's a very versatile gloss. So you know what's up with that. And normally I would not have brought so many lipsticks, but remember, 
YouTube and playing with makeup is my job. Christian Audette was kind enough to send me a bunch of different colors. So I really want to play with them. And since I don't get the chance to for a whole week, I couldn't wait. So I just brought all of them. They fit. So that's what it is. But I'm going to show you the colors here. We have your fire, which is a fun hot pink red, which I think could be really fun. We have Noel, which is a more brown shade, a neutral brown. That's why I brought the brown lip liner. We have Cashmere Dom, which is a warm mauve lip color. Maybe not mauve, but you see it. We have Company Card, which is a color I'm going to be wearing a lot. A nice nudie peach. We have Hocus Pocus, which is a deeper color. So these burnt lip colors, I'm really excited because I feel like the makeup looks that I have in mind are going to be perfect for brighter lip colors. And then finally, this is going to be my everyday color probably. This is Where's My Limo. So I'm going to have a big focus on lips this trip. I don't want to focus too much on eyes. I just want to have mascara and a bright lip and I think I'll look really put together. So normally probably would not have brought all of these lipsticks but I can't help myself. If I want to play, I'm going to play. Let's put everything back together. <laughs> As you can see, I managed to fit a lot in this thing and it's so awesome. And I know for most of you, you're probably like, that's a lot of makeup, but trust me, for somebody like me, I did really good this round. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking some to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.